question number one. For the question number two, compute the reaction at A. So again, this is A in our 3D. This is A. Yung reaction dito magiging due to this beam and this beam. So since symmetrical yung mga beam, pare-pares lang naman sila ng load and dimensions. So ibig sabihin, kung ano man yung nakukuha nitong GB. Okay ngayon, uh, so ato muna yung beam muna na to. Mas madaling tuusin. So, that would be H, A. So, nakikita natin dito, yung H, A ay, ay merong trapezoidal area na distributed load. Ibig sabihin, ito yun. And given the 8 kilopascal, so we can solve it as omega is equals to 8 kilopascal. Multiply by the tributary width, which is, this is 3, uh, the half is 1.5, 1.5 meters. So the answer would be 12 kilo newton per meter. Ngayon, if that is 12 kilo newton per meter, the concentrated load can be solved by dividing the area trapezoidal so two triangles and one rectangular rectangle so katulad dun sa kanina ito ay may 1.5 1.5 1.5 1 so kanun uli kung, pero isa lang to kaya 12 pa din yung gagamitin so for the rectangular distributed load could use uh, 12 kilonewton per meter and the length of 1.5 meters so 12 kilonewton per meter multiplied by 1.5 meters equals to 18 kilonewton for the triangular we have two triangular but it is the same symmetrical so, that boat has 1.5 meters in length and 12 kilonewton per meter distributed load. So that would be 12 kilonewton per meter multiplied by 1.5 meters divided by 2. And the answer would be 9 kilonewton. So that means we in the beam H. A, we have a 9 and 18 and 9. This is for the triangle and this is for the rectangular and this is for the other triangle. So the reaction, the reaction at A is equals to reaction at H because it's symmetrical. It's a uniform, it's a uniform load. So, summation of forces, vertical is equal to 0, Ra plus Rh is equal to 9 plus 18 plus 9. So, Ra is equal to Rh, that would be 2Ra is equal to 36, Ra would be 18 kilo newton. Ay, sorry, pinapalakita. Ayan. So, sa una pa lang yan, dun sa isang beam. But, we have this one, may isa pa, ito yun. So, kailangan itong buo na to makuha natin para malaman natin yung reaction kada point. So, itong mga part na to, that is the shorter side. So, triangular naman yung shape ng loads. So, mangyayari... Imagine this is uh, what letter is it again? D, C, B, and A. So triangular, we have this. But, meron pang uh, itong beam na to. This is called secondary beam. So meron siyang reaction dito sa beam na to. 
kasi kumbaga nakapatong siya dito so eto kung ano man yung reaction sa point B te, mapupunta siya dito magre reflect siya dito so di ba uh, dun sa una na solve natin yung G kasi may reaction siya na um, 36 kilonewton so then yung RG equal lang naman sa reaction at B so ibig sabihin yung reaction at B ay 3610 kilonewton so lahat naman yan symmetrical so ito magiging 36 din yung reaction dito sa F and 36 din sa C meron tayong action reaction kung dito sa beam GB yung reaction at B ay upward pag transpose siya dito sa beam ABCD yung reaction na upward na to na 36 ay magiging downward so eto na yun 36 kN so eto sa C ganun din 36 kN kasi pare-pareho lang yun then ngayon isolve natin itong distributed load na to so isa na lang yung isolve alam natin na 3 meters yung mga pagitan yan. Uh, omega is equals to the given pa din na 8 kilopascal multiplied by uh, tributary area ay uh, tributary width sorry. Tributary width ito yung tributary width ito yung, yung height nung, yung height ng load. So, yun ay ito yun yung height nito So, kung 1.5 na to, ibig sabihin, itong pataas ay 1.5 din. Kasi, 45 degree naman yung angle na to. 1.5 meters. And the answer would be 12 kilo newton per meter. Ngayon, iyon yung distributed load sa lahat ng to. Sa tatlong triangle na to. Kasi, iisa lang naman yung measurements ng dimension ng bawat slab. So, same na 12 kN per meter. So, nakuha na natin yung distributed load sa bawat triangle na to, which is 12 kN per meter. Ngayon, uh, i-draw ko na lang as a representation na lang ng lahat ng yun. Diba? Ayan yun. Tri triangle siya. So, the triangular load has a distribution of load with 12 kN per meter. So, meron tong length na 3 meters. Para makuha natin yung concentrated load. Itong triangle na to, hindi to pwede. Uh, kailangan natin yung triangle is a right triangle. So, i-divide pa natin yan. Atin pa sa gitna. So, that would be two right triangles. And yung formula natin doon, pagkuha ng resultant, ay 12 kN per meter multiply by the length ito yung length uh, divide natin to sa gitna so 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 meters tapos over to pag triangular so uh, magiging sagat ay 9 kN so yung 9 kN meron dito 9 and dito 9 so mangyayari Since yung illustration na to, lipat ko dito, that would be D, C, B, A, uh, we have this reaction at C, na 36 kN, and reaction at B, 36 kN. So, nasolve natin na may 9 kN yung resultant for bawat triangle. So, kada triangle, hinati natin sa dalawa, sa dalawang triangle. So, dito may dalawang 9. Dito, may dalawang 9. And dito, may dalawang 9. And we have the reaction at D and A. Yun yung column. So, reaction at D is equals to reaction at A. In summation, forces, vertically, is equal to 0. Uh, reaction at D plus reaction at A is equals to 9 plus 9 plus 36 plus 9 plus 9 plus 36 plus 9 plus 9. So, RD is equals to RA. So, RA plus RA, 2R 
thirty is equals to one hundred twenty six. So R A is equals to sixty three kilonewton. But may nauna na kanina na due to beam H A which is eighteen. So the total reaction at A is equals to sixty three plus eighteen. That would be a total of eighty one kilonewton. That is the reaction at A.